Hey YouTube, this is Chris again with another one of Tim and Chris's how-to videos. So today we're going to be taking an image like this and giving it a more cinematic feel um, and even that movie look effect, if you will, something like this. This is really cool to do, it's really fun, and it's really not that hard. So let's get started. All right, first of all, let us uh, let me show you where I got this image from. If you want to download this and follow along with me. Um, I got it from Pixabay, and I'll put the link in the description here. And it is free for commercial use with no attribution required. So I'll put this link in the description if you want to follow along. So let's get started. All right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this group so we can start from scratch here. And I'm going to make a duplicate of this layer. I'm going to hide the bottom layer just in case you need to go back to it for any reason. I always like to make duplicates of my background layer. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, convert this into a smart object because we're going to use a filter here to sharpen it up just a little bit so we can uh, have a smart filter in case we want to go back and edit that filter later. So I'm going to right click on this layer and convert to smart object. Now we can use smart filters, which makes our filters editable. If we did not convert into a smart object, we couldn't edit our filter. So we're going to go to sharpen and smart sharpen. And we're just going to see, we're going to have the preview checked here so we can see what's going on in the actual image. And you can see moving the slider up or down, how it affects the image. Well, in an image like this, you want it a bit over sharpened, not not too overbearing, but just a little bit, something like that. And the radius will bring down uh, to something like that. That looks pretty good for what we're going for. We'll click OK. Now that we have that, we can actually edit our filters if we think it's too sharp or something of that nature. Um, we can always edit it here and go right back to it. All right, so let's collapse that. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our um, adjustment layer here, and we're going to click on curves. Now what we're going to do is we're going to just name this um, dark, just so that we know uh, we can keep track of our layers here. And we're just going to come down in the middle, and we're just going to bring it down um, just to about there. We want it pretty dark to begin with. And so we're going to click OK. Next, we're going to go back to our adjustment layers and click on curves again. And we're going to name this Lumi because we're going to convert it from normal to luminosity. And here, we're just going to um, darken up the luminosity just a little bit. And we're going to just bring it down from the middle again and just make it a little bit darker. Something about like that. Now here's where you can go back. If you think it's too sharp, we can always go back, which I think it's a little bit too sharp here, and just decrease it just a little bit. That looks pretty good. All right, <clears throat> so now we've got um, our dark, darkened uh, curves and our luminosity. We're going to do one more we're going to go back to our curves and we're going to name this color. And this is where all the magic happens. And the reason we're going to name that color is because we're going to change the blending mode from normal to color. Now with this, we're going to um, work with the reds, greens, and blues. And I have an ex some examples here. We have the matrix. And you can see um, it has... Uh, kind of a greenish tint background on this, and even their skin color it has a little uh, greenish tint to it here and there. And also, um, a screenshot of Alien vs. Predator, which this one has a bluish type of tint, and you can see um, there are bluish types of tint on the characters as well. So that's kind of what we're going to go for today, and we're going to do that by using our colors. So we're going to start with the red color. And if we move these sliders, if we move this slider to the left, we get more red. If we move this slider 
to the right, we get more of a bluish green. If we move this down, we get bluish green. If we move it to the right, we get more of the reddish color. Okay, so for this, we're just going to um, play with this. And for every image, it's going to be different. So the more you do this, the better at it you'll get. And we're just going to move this over to give it a little more of that greenish, blue, teal type of feel. And we're also going to move this over to give it a more of a reddish feel so we can bring out his skin tones a little more. And that looks about good. And we can change this um, anytime by going back to these. We're just going to make a rough estimate right now of what we want. Um, and then we can always go back and, uh, and change it and edit them and do a little bit of adjustments. So now we're going to go to our green. And in the green, we're just going to go um, maybe where you see this, uh, this little graph here. These are where all your colors are located. So we're going to go where most of the colors are located, which would be about right here. And we're going to just going to drag this down. We're just going to give it a little bit of green. Actually, we're going to drag it up a little bit because if we go down, it'll put more uh, magenta in there, a little bit more red, I guess. So we're just going to give it a touch of green. We're not going to go very far, just a touch. And if you happen to make a mistake um, and you can't get this line back perfectly, all you have to do is grab it and snap it, and it'll, it'll go right back to uh, its default state. So we're just going to grab it and just go up just to add a tinge of green, not much at all. Okay, then we'll go to our blue channel. And in our blue channel, we're going to do the same thing. And we're going to just add. You can see we, we add more blue or more green. We don't want any more green. We just want a little more blue here. And then we'll even bring it up maybe a little more right about there. And that's pretty good. We'll drag this down to give it a little bit of yellow. Put a little yellow in there as well. And you know that looks pretty good. I think that looks I think that looks pretty good as is. And like I said, of course, you can go back and you can make some adjustments um, to any one of these uh, layers. Matter of fact, let's go back to the luminosity and we'll just darken this up just a little more, see what type of effect we get. And I think that looks pretty good if we darken it up just a little bit more. And again, if we think that our, our sharpen is too sharp, we can go back and we can edit that a little bit and give it a little less sharpness, something like that. That looks pretty good. So now we'll group these layers. And you can see the difference. And I think that looks pretty good. And that's how to take a photo like this and give it that more cinematic, movie-looking effect like this. Well, I hope this video has helped you. Please like this video. Please subscribe and comment if you like. If you'd like to see more Photoshop videos, visit our website at simplehowtos.com or here on our YouTube channel. Hey, thanks for watching and have a good day.